Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Since I got 50 subscribers, which, you know, basically means uh, I'm getting close to being able to retire, um, I thought, you know, it's, I've been getting a lot of questions lately, like, oh, James, like, you know, you're really, like, you're the best Dead by Dead player anyone's ever seen, blah, 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 like, you're so handsome and stuff, but we don't know anything about you personally, so I thought, you know, I put out on all my social medias, like, okay, you can, like, I'll allow you to ask me questions and I'll answer them in a video, and that's what I'm going to do. Um, so let's just jump into it. I'm just going to start with the first one here. It's, um, where was it? Okay. Uh, what was the name of your first pet? Um, it was, uh, it was, it was Tobias, so we had a little, uh, I don't know what kind of dog it was. I didn't really care for it, to be honest with you, but it's, um, yeah, Tobias, it was a little shit, um, whatever, um, and then, yeah, he, he went to a farm, put it that way. Um, so that's a rough start, honestly, uh, okay, let's see if we got a better one, okay, um, this one says, what is your mother's maiden name? Um, it was, uh, I think it was, uh, White, if I'm not mistaken, I might have to double check that, but I think it's, it was, yeah, it was White or something like that, um, kind of a, I don't know, we've gotten real personal right off the rip here. Um, this one, what's the next one? It says, um, where did you, what was the name of your primary school? Um, this is, um, you know, I'm not really that big on, on sharing, you know, where I went to. I figured these would be more like Dead by Daylight related, or like, you know, something kind of funny or light-hearted. This is, um, I'm not too sure about this. These, and these, these are, these are all coming from, uh, Hackerman42. I don't know who, I don't know if you're, I've never really seen you, like, I'm not sure who that is, but, um, yeah, I don't know, I was, I was, this isn't going how I thought it would. Um, well, let's see if we can, you know, keep it rolling. Um, we got, what is the security code on, okay, we're not doing, okay. I said, alright. What, no, okay. How big is your... Okay, well, this is just silly. This is... I don't know who's pranked me. Uh, I don't know which one of you fucking pranksters thought it'd be funny to ruin my Q&A 50 subscribers special. You know, it was a big deal to me, getting 50 subscribers. You know, it's 50 people watching every... Like, just sitting there waiting for me to upload every day, caring, hanging off my every word. All 50 so or so of you definitely... You know, caring about everything I have to say about Dead by Daylight and myself, and you know, you know, I put myself out there, and this is how I get, you know, this is the the payment that I get. So that's um, you know, that's great. Put a lot of effort into all the videos I do. You know, I edit them, I zoom in, I zoom out. You know, I cut, I paste, all all the things. Okay, you know what? No, here's one. We got we got an actual question, if you can believe that. Um, how right now? Um, thank you to Anonymous, whoever answer, asked that one. It's, uh, it's exactly what I wanted to, wanted you guys to ask. Um, so, I guess, you know, I'm in a bit of a rut with DVD lately, to be honest. I think I've just played it, uh, I think I've just played it too much recently without really feeling like, am I playing because I want to play and have fun? At a at a game, or am I playing to play Dead by Daylight? Uh, because it's what I play. You know, does that make sense? It sounds kind of weird. Like it's um, I think there's just something about games today. They're all designed to suck you in and keep like player retention is uh the most important thing. To I don't know, like shareholders and shit. I don't. What am I? That's a fucking money guy I don't <laughs> I don't know stuff about stuff but what I do know is that Dead by Daylight's been pissing me off lately and it's not the game's fault I think it's my fault I need an attitude adjustment because I feel like I I, I go into a game 
as the clown with like fire up, you know, and they won't even be like this MLG sweat squad, like doing call outs and stuff. They'll just be like pretty good. And, you know, I feel like I verse a good range of survivors these days. And a lot of survivors are just good these days, like just as individuals, um, whether they play well together is circumstantial. Um, and you know, depend it, like depends on comms and stuff too. But just they're all sort of individually knowledgeable and talented at rank one for the most part these days, um, to some extent. And I'll I'll load in like I said as like the clown with fire up or just some kind of low tier poopy killer who's just I don't know. I'm just playing for fun. And I'll, by the time I realize that I should have brought, you know, a really good killer that I'm, you know, confident that I can play to that sort of fucking MLG sweat squad competitive level, uh, that, that's, that's what's got me bummed out about Dead by Daylight right now, is not knowing what to bring into matches anymore. Like, not, not, that, I've ever, not that we've ever really been able to tell, unless you recognize the survivors, but it seems weirder now than ever because I played a stint of games where I'll play the poopiest killer there is with the poopiest perks, no add-ons, I don't really give a shit. And I'll get absolutely shit on. Three sacks of barbecue, gates powered, like, okay, well that didn't feel good. And you know what? I'll be, it doesn't feel good. It feels bad getting shit on. Um, it's, it's not the survivor's fault. Or anything like that. It just doesn't feel doesn't feel good. But then, after a while of that, I'm like, you know what? Okay, I'm gonna play Hex Ruin, Hex Undying, and just like pretty much that combo on any killer is just stupid at the moment. But I'll, I'll play killers who I know I, I'm like competent with and that can hang with good survivors. And all of a sudden, I'm getting rank 11s in my lobby, like over and over again. It was ridiculous. I don't know what the heck's going on with matchmaking lately. I've just, I've never really felt personally that whole thing where it's like only the top tier killers are viable at rank one. Uh, but lately I'm feeling it. But then again, when I switch to them, I, I can't tell if I'm, if the, the high tier killers are just that much better than like Clown or Wraith or whoever it is I'm playing that's like a poopy killer that maybe I am playing against the same caliber of survivors, but I'm just doing a lot better because I'm trying harder. And I'm just like this fucking killer god hero, apparently, when I play good killers. Which gets boring because I'm just killing them all with, like, a plum. Like, it's just... It not, I don't know. It's just... It's a, it's a massacre. Which sounds fun. It sounds like the idea is what you want as a killer. But it really does get boring after a while just steamrolling and having people DC and it's 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 boring and then you know you switch to poopy killers to sort of balance it out a little bit and just get shit on I don't know I, there's gotta be some middle ground like I need to start I need to find like a mid-tier killer who's not you know clown <laughs> basically maybe I just need to stop playing clown that might be the the, the real issue here um but even this game right here, which I don't actually have in front of me as I'm recording this, but I know which one I'm going to use. It's the Hillbilly on Ormond. Uh, I was surprised at how quick those generators all went. I'm assuming by now they've gone. And um, yeah, it was it was a close game. It it really stressed me out by the end. Uh, the reason there's no audio is because I was in party just sort of casually chatting with a friend uh, who didn't have their voice set to shed, so it would have just been me talking to myself uh, pretty much. Not that this is any different, but anyways, um, I just think it's a good example of, I bring in, you know, Tinkerer, Cruel Limits, basically I'm not running any, like, gen slowing perks, that, that, that might even be it too, it's like, if I'm gonna play Clown, maybe I really should buff him as best I can with actual, you know, game stopping perks, I guess, but I like to run fire up and brutal strength and save the best for last you know that's just what i like to run on him it just feels nice and you kind of can't run what you want to run <laughs> i feel like these days maybe you've never been able to 
and I'm only just starting to now feel burnt out on it, but, um, yeah, anyways, that's, um, that, that's pretty much it, um, thanks for all the, you know, all the questions and the support, I really appreciate it all, you guys are like the best 50 subscribers any I'll, I'll make could have, so, um, so, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and stuff, and, uh, yeah, all the, I don't know, I'm, the outros are the worst, dude.